Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Tonight was date night. And me and my wife went out to see a movie tonight. And we want to talk about it a little bit. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Shaw, a.k.a. Shaw the Barber, a.k.a. Skill Hands at Work. And I'm here with my, my wife, Shonda. Introduce yourself. It's me, y'all. Shonda Lee. And we went to go see a movie. What movie we go see tonight, babe? So, we went to see this movie called The Meg. Was it The Meg or just Meg? The Meg. The Meg. Oh, I think it is just Meg. Uh, but anyway, we went to see it. So, let me give a brief introduction on this whole thing. So, me and my wife, we do date night every two weeks. And we go see a different movie. And we eat dinner at the movie theater. And our schedule is whatever's showing at 9, 9.30 at the movie theater and it's normally only one movie showing and whatever that movie is that's the movie that we're going to see so did we have any intention on seeing Meg tonight babe before I mean other than the fact that it was at the movie theater is that a movie that we would have chose to go see uh no no but this is how it's been and we've probably been doing this for about three months now maybe a little longer every two weeks so we're starting to see movies that are outside of the norm that we would normally go see but tonight we saw Meg, and we want to talk about what we thought of Meg without spoiling it for anybody else who might be wanting to go see it. But we're going to tell you what we thought about it. So, let's start. What did you think about the movie? Okay, I think the movie was really, really good. Like, that is not a movie that I would have been like, ooh, I want to go see this or ooh, I want to go, you know, I want to check this movie out. It was not one of those type movies. First of all, I'm not really big into like Jaws type movies with all the blood and the gore, but this one was kind of um on a level where it wasn't too gory, but it was just enough gore. It wasn't too scary, but it was just enough um thrill. So it was pretty good. I thought the same thing. It would not have been a movie I would have, cho have chosen to go see. But to me, it had enough action in it. Because I think that my wife, she's more into romance type movies and funny movies. And I'm into action movies and maybe suspense type movies. And funny. So we, we can agree on the funny movies. Mm -hmm. But to me, this movie had enough Action. And it even had a little funny in it. Remember? It, it, had yeah. little, it had a little funny in it. It had a little funny in it. It had action, which I enjoyed. It had romance, which she enjoyed. It would have not been a movie that either of us would have wanted to go see. But that is the great part of this going to see uh, movies at a set time because there's never really a movie that you want to see at right. that set time. We're kind of forced to, see a, to sit down and watch a movie whether it's on our list of faves or not so faves, but it kind of forces us to sit down and watch a movie. And basically you're like, Oh, that was real good. Or sometimes yeah. it's like, Oh, that was a horrible movie. We've so had the whole spectrum, the yes. worst movie we've ever saw. We've seen together now. And I think both of us will say, I don't want to say what movie that was, but the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. We saw, like two date nights ago now? Yeah, yeah maybe like nights. a month ago. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it had to be because... It's still fresh on the brain, it though. It is definitely <laughs> fresh on the brain. It I was horrible. <laughs> and then we saw The Equalizer 2 last time, and that was good, and we both agreed that that was good. Yeah, Equalizer 2 was yeah. good. Denzel's but, always good. Yeah, but this movie, it, it definitely... It had all of the key marks of a good movie. It kind of reminded me of Rampage a little bit, Except for I feel this movie was a little bit better than Rampage, uh, in my opinion. If you like yeah. Rampage, I think this was better. Um, yeah, I definitely think this one was better than Rampage. The only thing I must say is it seemed like it was a kind of a long film. Like, and maybe it was just because the the nature of the movie, it was like, okay, not again. You know, it was just kind of like, it seemed like maybe it was a longer movie. Yeah, I guess because I would have, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. To, to me, to me, anytime it's a scary movie or a thrill movie, it's kind of like, this is just simple. 
without spoiling anything, it's a shark in the water. So where do you want to be? Not in the water. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Call somebody who's better prepared to handle the situation. But then the movie will be over. Yeah. So, that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. That's how I am with any type of movie. I see it and it's like, oh, there's something that I can't handle. We done. We ain't going back to that. Uh, to me, movies like Jaws and this movie right here, it, this is simple. I'm never going back in the water again. Ever. And I, this I won't even drink water. <laughs> I know it's going to make you be like every time we are near a beach, it's like, oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will always. To me, this is what Jaws did to me. I had a hard time swimming in swimming pools because <laughs> of Jaws movies. And now, <laughs> this movie, I mean, it's a Megalodon, so it's not a, it's not, it's not Jaws. So I don't have to worry about it in swimming pools, but oh, my goodness. So, um, but it did have like some cool... Um, without spoiling it, it had like some cool, up to date, um, what you call it? Maybe like uh, el electronics, maybe or yeah, yeah. Oh, some of the scenes in the movie, some of the scenes like the ocean views, it it draws you in because the scenery is so beautiful in some of the scenes of the movie. When they're in their little um, uh, submarines. Well, that's what I was talking about. More yeah. up to date, like um, it had like all this technology yeah. and and stuff. So it, that was pretty good. Some pretty the, cool features. Some of those views that are in there, I would like to have like a big screen TV posted up in my living room as an aquarium of just some of the scenes that they show. Like that would be the coolest thing in the world because they made under the sea seem so beautiful that I would like to go down there, but knowing that there could be animals down there like this shark, <laughs> I, I want to stay away from it. But what would you get if on a scale of 1 to 10 on all the movies that we've seen, and you could say which which movie you compare it to like on your scale, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give this movie? Or should we go 1 to 5? 1 to 5 or 1 to 10? Um... give this one probably like an eight maybe out of ten yeah out of ten i think it was really good like that's a shock to me yeah it, i think it was really good i would give it an eight yeah and i i probably would give it i mean on a scale of one to ten each number carries a, he a heavy heavy weight in my opinion so i would give it probably i'd give it a seven a and seven? I could give it a seven. And I'm saying, there's no movie that I'm going to say hits a ten. Mm. It's very few movies in this world that if, on a scale of one to ten, I'm one of them tough judges. I'm, I'm signing Yeah, up. and see me, <laughs> if it's a happy ending and everybody fell in love at the end, it's like, boom, they got a ten. And see, and see <laughs> I'm just the opposite. I can't stand always seeing happy endings. I want something that's going to throw me for a loop. Like, <laughs> I watch this movie, and you kind of feel like like it was one part where you said, oh, no, oh, no, and I'm like, it's his movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if, if they, we only been in the movie for 40 minutes. If, if he goes now, <laughs> the movie is over. So it's kind of one of those things, like, I would like for the person who you think to be the main character, he's the tough guy going through the whole movie, and I would like to see a movie where it's just like, oh, my goodness. How did they kill him off already? And then somebody else had to step up and be the hero if that was going to be the case and it's going to be a happy ending. But sometimes I think, you know, it is what it is. I mean, there's always going to be sharks in the ocean. You know? <laughs> so, 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 so I don't know. So I give it a seven just because I feel like I knew what the ending was going to be before it, it happened ended. right now let me ask you this do you think there will be a sequel uh i think it could possibly be a sequel um i think i think it's very easy for it to be a sequel yeah i, mean, I think so too i think it's very easy it, to, if, cre to okay. create a part two yeah if if jaws could go for what was it three or four <laughs> and they kill jaws every single time <laughs> I think that this movie could definitely, could definitely be a, 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 yeah, I think a part two is very, very possible. I don't think they should do it in the next year or two, but I think 
in five years a Meg 2 because this movie should do very well I think in the box office but I'm not a movie critic so I don't know how it's going to play out but well we shall see we shall see is there anything else you want to say about say about the movie without spoiling it for anybody um, without spoiling it I would say um, it's a definitely a good movie check it out if you get a chance um and let us know how you felt about the movie if you've already seen it or if you get a chance to go and see it you know in the couple next couple weeks i agree i would say go check it out and it is definitely one of those movies that i would say is probably better in the movie theater than it will be uh in your living room just because the sound effects the things that are going on the scare factors all that stuff I felt people around me jumping. and I don't think you go, I don't, <laughs> Did somebody scream I, one time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was like that one lonely scream in the movie theater. <laughs> like, was that in the movie or was it in the theater? But I definitely think it was in the theater. Uh, but I would say it's a, it, it is a, a go-see. I'm not going to say a must-see, but it is a definite go-see. Right, I agree. A, that's why I give it a seven. Cause yeah. Nine and ten is a must-see. Seven is a, I recommend you go see. So, I say go see it. I can't say I'll go see it again, but in the movie theater. But I will see it when it comes out on DVD. I think I definitely will. And uh, I hope that y'all feel the same way. And like my wife said, leave a comment. Tell us what you thought about the movie. Try not to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, because I think it is that good where they should be able to go see it without having to spoil it. Um, and basically subscribe give us a thumbs up if you like the commentary on it without us spoiling it if you want to hear more from us let us know we will be going to see a new movie in two weeks we don't know what movie we want to go see but if you have any movie recommendations leave a comment on what movie we should go see and we might be doing an audio because this is our first time doing this we might be doing an audio on the next movie we go see if people seem to like the audio most definitely so let us know what you think. Well, this is Shonda and Shaw, a.k.a. Shaw the Barber, a.k.a. Skill Hands at Work. And we signing out. Peace out, guys. Y'all have a good day. Peace. And we'll see y'all in the next video.